Utilizing the gel plate to transfer images from magazine pages is a great way to create an interesting background, an interesting start for an art journal page. Let me tell you a bit about my channel and we'll get started. I've chosen images from magazines, Vogue, Harper's Bazaar, some of the higher quality magazines. I'm looking for high contrast images to play with on my gel plate today. I want to create some art journal backgrounds. I want to create some fodder for collage. And I don't know what is going to come out of this session. So let's just get started with a thin coat of black. On the gel press, I'm laying that first image down. I want to transfer some text because I think text would make a nice background for a project that I'm working on. And let's pull that up and see how that text laid down on the plate. Just going over it just a little bit more to make sure there was contact there. And it looks like it has transferred just fine, but look at this magazine page. I think that in and of itself could be great fodder for collage. I've set that aside and allowed that to dry to the touch. Now I am placing some gold acrylic paint over that image that we transferred from the magazine page. I'm laying a piece of white copy paper down and utilizing the gold paint to pull that ghost image or that image that was on my plate. And I think that turned out nice. And I think this also will make a nice background or nice collage fodder. So we have the magazine page itself and the image that we transferred or the text image that we transferred from that page. So let's dress up that magazine page a bit. I'm laying down some gold paint and I want to pull this onion bag that I have in my mark making tub down underneath my desk. We'll pull that onion bag and create a pattern in gold that will print on top of that magazine page that is covered with the black ink that we pulled up when we laid down the print. Does that make sense? So this is just the magazine page. Again, great fodder for collaging. So now let's do another magazine page. You'll notice when I lay that paint down that I'm laying down a very small amount. You don't need a lot of paint for this process. So let's try to get this image of this woman. I'm just rubbing it lightly with my hands to make sure the page is in contact. And take a look at that. That woman is right there in all her glory. And again, I don't think the magazine page should be discarded. I think we can probably find something to do with that in future projects. So we'll set her aside and then allow her to dry. Once dry, I've decided, I think <clears throat> there's, there's a couple of things I could have done, but I've decided to just put some circles inside her dress. So her dress came as a solid white or no image on the plate. And I thought it would be fun to see how this would look. And she could be great fodder for a paint over. And I, I may just have to do that here in a few moments. But we'll see. We'll see how she turns out. So I'm also removing some paint in that black area. So we have quite a bit of circles going on here.
So we'll let that dry to the touch. Parchment acrylic paint. And I'm just using the uh, Liquitec Basics. I'm not using a heavy body paint. I'm not using anything incredibly expensive. I went to add a little bit of gold into that parchment, into that pull. Let's see what we receive. We just change the angle, see if we can get a better angle on this. Oh, she's looking pretty darn good. Whoops, my camera jumped on me, but let me grab it. And there we go. I think that turned out kind of fun, don't you? Now let's continue. What do we want to do next? Let's take a look at what we have left over here. So we did the print. We did one lady. Let's do this gal. Let's see what we get from her. Small amount of paint, just kind of like the amount of toothbrush you'd put on your, amount of toothpaste you would put on your toothbrush. Lay her down. Light rub with the hands to make sure the page is in contact with the plate. And we'll pull that paper back and our lady has appeared. I also took some gold and I, I must have deleted the footage, but I took some gold and just um, added it around the edge of her and hit that with a drywall cloth. We'll do that in, a, in the future shots so you'll see how I did it. But let's see how she pulled. Ah, very nice. And I'm just using black parchment and gold today. We need to make it very basic, very simple. Let's try this, this jewelry, and see how that turns out. Laying down the black, getting a nice thin coat. Make sure that this has contact with the press. And there is the two pieces of the jewelry. Set those aside and let them dry or allow them to dry a bit. And now that they're dry to the touch, I'm utilizing the gold Pull that. And this is what I did on that other sheet is I just took some of that drywall tape and ran it over the top of the gold that I told you I would show you later. And now that that's dry to the touch, we'll pull both the gold and the image with this parchment. There, I think that turned out kind of cool. So let's see where we are. We have quite a bit that we have from this just simple sec session. This is the magazine page that we laid the print down from. Both of these are just the magazine pages themselves that we added some color to. The lady image with a little bit of gold highlight around her the print with gold. The lady that we decorated her dress, we'll use her for a paint over. We have all the images from the gel press session and I have started this art journal with these magazine images or the magazine polls that I've been working on this prompt. 
And now this recent session, I want to utilize these to create a collage in that journal. So we have some pretty good prints, I think, as a starting point. And I think I have something within these prints that I can use as a focal point. So the first thing I want to do is just mask off a border because I would like this to be um, a collage that's created within this area on this, in this art journal. So let me trim some things off. I'm going to set this to music and I will come back when there's something that needs to be said.
through tips from the comments on my previous collage, <clears throat> I'm adding some glue and water mixture here to avoid the bleed through under the tape. So we'll see if it works at the end. Thank you for joining me in week two of the Coffee Cup Prompt Magazine Image Pulls. We've pulled some great images, created a collage. If you enjoy the content, please subscribe. Give me that thumbs up. It helps my channel. And come on over and share your work in my Facebook book group to Old Crows Mixed Media. The playlist for all of the Coffee Cup Prompts you'll see right here. Once again, Thanks for joining me and bye for now.